going to run through the massive windy day, which is gusty winds prompting a severe fire warning. There's showers in the far north and also a few showers around the northwest and central west borders. No sign of seasickness. And as expected, rain and showers will clear from the southeast this morning. This afternoon, light patchy rain, showers, and the chance of fire storms mainly around the trough. Northerly winds ahead of the trough in the northeast and south to southwest in its way. Top of 28 degrees in Sydney. Partly cloudy day for Victoria. Isolated showers near and south of the rainforest. They will be more scattered near the coast. 20 degrees in Melbourne. A cool day for Tasmania with gusty winds. Rain in the west with hail and the remnants of thunderstorms falling in November around 900 metres. And top of 13 degrees in Australia. South Australia showers will clear from the southeast. Isolated showers in the far north. Fresh winds about the coast. 20 degrees in Adelaide. For Western Australia, fine and warm in the south. The trough is still triggering areas of rain from the gas point up to the Kimberley. It was his six-pack that helped, helped him land the first two degrees, and it is about to get hotter. And we'll have showers also around the western border. So when you're sitting there, we're we'll lying there. And that's still very hot for Kananara, 41. Really Tomorrow, a sunny day in Canberra and Perth. Clearing showers in Hobart and Adelaide. And a possible afternoon storm for Darwin as you head for a top of 34 degrees. And so family and friends today, after we laugh. You know, keep you grounded and remind you. There are lots to talk about this morning. We've been asking for you for your comments on the potential the demise of Holden manufacturing car manufacturing in this country as we hear from the Holden chief in the front of the car commission this morning. Vinny says, how can a country of 22 million support the car industry? Well, after the break is time for Celeb Buzz. What is happening with Justin Bieber, Richard? Oh, my God. If you didn't think he was a brat yet, just wait till you hear this. Justin Bieber allegedly abuses a woman in Perth. Just wait till you hear what he said. All of the Celeb is two dollars fifty an hour. All Holden and other manufacturers need to tell Australians if they're prepared to work for less than two hundred dollars. You have ten surgeries in one day. Top row is the company why she regrets going under the knife. Trust us, a rock and roll legend of Jim Bowles joins us live in the studio. He reckons he is simply ridiculous. So do keep those comments coming, and we'll be crossing back to our reporter, who's on the spot there outside the product commission for some updates on what might be. Coverage begins on News 24 at the State of Fox tonight. Australia needs to know where I'm tired. And of course, we'll have highlights for you tomorrow morning on ABC News Breakfast. Don't forget to stay with us on ABC News Breakfast. We can say goodbye to our viewers on Australian employment. We can also say goodbye forever to our viewers in the Greater Melbourne area watching us on Amazon TV. Of course, all of that is going to have been a few things. Switch off the board unless you're late. It says pre-sale to the heater box to come. It's not so easy. It's not to go and get a digital set-top box or a digital TV, otherwise it's not going to be a good thing. It's nice and peaceful for a few seconds there. It's worth considering. As the world pays its respects to the life of Nelson Mandela, join ABC News 24 to honor the icon who will be dead. Is really to help you not be able to Tonight, commemorate his achievements at the official memorial service in Johannesburg. Then on Sunday, join us for one of the largest state funerals the world has seen. Get interview deals like Yaris Wire Hatch from 15490 Drive Away or since he blew the KXR from 39990 Drive Away. Visit special offers for more. I, Stephen Fry, do solemnly declare. He's been given keys, but what does it mean? I want to penetrate. From the makers of Candy Crush comes Papa Pear Saga. And it's very exciting. Join Stephen Fry on a unique tour of the city of London as he unlocks the city's quirks, history and Mystery. All about money. It's all about training. <laughs> <laughs> Stephen Fry's Key to the City tonight, 8:30 ABC One. On the next opening shot. Available now on I Facebook, Android, iPhones, and iPad. Anybody. There are those who've experienced it. My secret shame, I guess. And those who've been kept in the dark. Why do they do that? How do they do that? How could I not have seen? But why does abuse happen in the first place? I would tell myself that if she didn't remember, it would be. Brave young filmmakers tackling the tough and the taboo.
all kind of Try the switch. That was good. Opening shots. Aren't Try the switch to Momentum Energy. For up to hundred dollars welcome credit and a low electricity rate. Isn't it time you tried the switch? And everything that's not. I'm doubtful that we're actually being told the truth. This is Groundhog Day. 122 feet long with six wheels and a top speed of 19. ABC News 24. Holden puts its case to the Productivity Commission for more government subsidies. This doesn't have to be uh, a moment for Holden. What we do need to do is to make the Australian economy more competitive. to face court over the murder of a couple in their Melbourne home. Security tight as world leaders arrive in South Africa to honour Nelson Mandela. This is an occasion to celebrate a great life as well as to mourn the passing of the father of modern South Africa. And next stop, Perth. Australia plans to take back the ashes on the bouncy wacker pitch. Good morning and welcome back to ABC News Breakfast. I'm Michael Rowland. And I'm Virginia Trioli and this is our top story today. Holden's Managing Director Mike Devereaux is appearing before the Productivity Commission in Melbourne to put his case for continued government assistance. The Holden chief won't be making any announcement on the car maker's future but there has been growing speculation that Holden is planning to shut its Australian operations by 2016. Our political reporter Andrew Green. <laughs> Comme cet ancien mafieux reconverti après de longues années de prison. Sa méthode, menacer physiquement ceux qui doivent de l'argent. Dis à tes collègues que je suis un ami. T'as dit que tu réglerais, t'as dit que tu paierais et tu ne l'as pas fait. Il faut qu'on trouve un accord aujourd'hui. Ce qui doit être payé doit être payé. Sinon je dégage.